Hey guys, and welcome back to another Conan Exiles video. Today we are in the Highlands, east of Devil's Squat, building a maze. This build has been on my suggestion list for a long time now, and has been suggested by quite a few people, so thank you to all those that have suggested this build. As usual, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. You can get 70% off NordVPN when you visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt, or use code eradyt at checkout. Stick around until the end of the video to find out more about how to unlock the full potential of the internet with NordVPN. So, without further ado, let's get started. Firstly, we are going to start off with laying down the base plate of the maze. I'll start by building a 15x15 15 15 square using stable fence foundations, then marking out an entrance to the maze and using the fence foundations to plan out the walls inside the maze. Planning out said walls was a little bit complicated, as I wanted to avoid having too many dead ends or too many paths that looped back, aiming for a fairly healthy balance between the two. In the end I think I actually got a fairly good maze design marked out, though it could definitely be made more complex. When I'd built the base plate I used ceilings to cover the fence foundations, using black ice to cover the non-walkable areas, and then using fence foundations again to build out a perimeter wall around the maze, so that I could allow for a viewing base surrounding the maze, turning the theme of this build into something of a spectator sport. I then covered the spectator walls with the Amatai ceilings on the bottom. Next for the walls. I decided upon stable walls which I built up two tiles high, connecting them to the entrance platform with frontier stairs and then placing a large gate frame at the front of the build.
Next, I covered the top of the spectator walls with stable ceilings, then building small corner towers on each corner to serve as a sturdy decoration for the walls. Whilst they don't have any actual real function, these towers help to make the build feel a bit more grand and add to the spectacle of the maze. Next, to finish off the maze itself. I used hay covered stable ceilings to cover the walkable areas of the maze, building stable walls one tile high above the fence foundations to create the winding and confusing walls. Finally, using frontier ceilings in the end room of the maze. I then placed lattice half walls above all the stable walls, placing tiled rooftop pieces above the non walkable areas.
Finally, it is time to see the maze in action. We are here with Polar, who's going to be attempting to complete the maze as fast as possible, and the timer will start as soon as he enters the maze. And there we have it, Polo was successful in around about a minute, and has reached the treasure room. This maze turned out quite nicely, though maybe a little bit small. Someone did suggest a labyrinth the other day actually, which I think sounds like a good idea. Maybe a multi-floored structure with traps and danger around every corner? We'll have to see what the future brings. Thanks for watching, I quite enjoyed building this maze, and I think it would be a nice side attraction for a roleplay or PvE community server. As I mentioned earlier, this video is indeed sponsored by NordVPN. If you want to stay safe on the internet and ensure your location can't be tracked by shady individuals, or whilst being able to unlock region-locked content like Netflix, BBC, ITV, Hulu, HBO and more, whilst maintaining blazing fast internet speeds, NordVPN is perfect for you. When you use my link or discount code, you can get 70% off a 3 year deal, which comes out to $3.49 a month or about £2.80 if you're in the UK which is a bargain price for such a great service. The software is a small download and it's easy to use, one click and you are both connected and protected, and you have full access to the internet. Nord also has very strict policies on protecting your data, meaning you can browse in confidence. Visit nordvpn.org slash eradyt to claim this huge discount, or use code eradyt at checkout to get the best VPN service available on the internet, and also help to support me and the channel at the same time. As always, a big thanks to Nord for sponsoring the video. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and let me know in the comments below if you have any build suggestions for future videos. As usual, absolutely anything is welcome. Don't forget to both follow me on Twitch and join the fun on our Discord through the links in the description. And don't forget you can get 70% off NordVPN when you use code eradyt at checkout, or you can go through my affiliate link in the description and the pinned comment below. YouTube is currently my full-time source of income, so if you enjoy the content and would like to help support the channel so I can continue to put out the best content possible, do consider becoming a patron. There are multiple tiers of support from $1 to $20, offering many different benefits from a mention in every video to Discord roles, and even sneak peeks of every new video before anyone else. During the lockdown, most of us are still in. The video previews that are usually restricted to the $20 tier will be open for the $10 tier as well, so everyone's got a little bit more content to enjoy. The link to my Patreon is in the description, so if you'd like to support the channel feel free to consider becoming a patron. On that note, a thanks to our patrons Sammy, Sadialot, Randar, Dawnfox, MK Pantheon, and Sergeant Swede. If you're new here, feel free to check out the rest of the content on the channel. There are new Cone Nexiles videos coming every Wednesday and Sunday, so if you like what you see, subscribe and ring the notification bell to be the first to see the next video, and to join us on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.